After such a long time away from St Helens, Ospreys could have been forgiven a period of readjustment to unfamiliar surroundings. But instead, their first appearance in this season's competition got off to a flying start. Young winger Tomo Flaherty crashing over for the home side after just two minutes, although it took almost as long to confirm that he'd done so. With no TMO to turn to in the Anglo-Welsh Cup, referee Mike Hudson needed a detailed chat with his touch judge before awarding the try. But the hosts found that early momentum hard to maintain, and a Quinn side showing six changes from the one that beat Exeter the week before eventually settled in. They controlled possession for the rest of the first quarter before making it count at the start of the second. Their obvious dominance up front, underlined by number eight, George Naopu, from close range. But amid the game's somewhat heated atmosphere, the visitors' growing control was stalled just past the half hour. Adam Jones's desire to do well against his former club saw him sinbin for killing the ball, and within a minute, Ospreys made the extra man count. The dancing feet of Daffith Howell delivered their second try, and Luke Price's conversion meant a healthy half-time lead for the home side by 12 points to five. But in the second 40, with their talismanic prop restored to the fray, Harlequins were able to reassert their forward power and greater experience against an Ospreys side containing no less than eight senior debutants. Some impressive work through the phases eventually allowed Locke Charlie Matthews to apply the finishing touch. And when replacement fly half Tim Sweel added the extras, it was all square heading into the final quarter, and now the game was a test of character. As it turned out, just one more score was enough to settle the outcome. Sweel was once again the key figure, a touch of Aviva Premiership now proving decisive after Ospreys were penalised by Mr Hudson for straying offside. The home team's sense of grievance that Quinns had got away with similar offences counted for little, as Sweel kicked the visitors ahead for the first time in the game with just seven minutes left. And that's how it stayed, although the South African almost made a hash of his kick into touch to finish the match. Harlequin's second win in the competition and their first away success of the season. Not exactly smash and grab, but certainly not much in it. And not the homecoming to St Helens that Ospreys had in mind.